<laughs> Let me get in the shade here. Okay. Uh, hello, everybody, and welcome to Live to Freeze Exploring Fair Trade webinar. We are today going to give you virtual tours of four different fair trade shops in the Orange County area. So I, my name is Ali. I am the Live to Free president. Today, I'm going to be walking you through International Sanctuary and Purpose Jewelry to show you their shop and the area and let you know what they have. And also with me here, also with me today is Ruthie. Ruthie, can you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Ruthie Hanchett, and I am the Live to Free coach, which gets means I get to work with these amazing students. I also teach at Vanguard University on the topic of human trafficking. So um, I'm so excited that we're here today to talk about how ethically sourced products and products that give dignity and economic opportunity to survivors of human trafficking can make a difference in the fight against exploitation. And I am at Share and Do Good, which is a great little shop in my hometown of Fullerton. It's in downtown Fullerton, just off the main drag of Harbor and near Chapman and Wilshire. And I love this shop. So we're gonna meet the, the owner and see some of the things that I find amazing here about this shop because everything here gives back, does good, helps someone, and is a great opportunity to make a difference with our purchases. Awesome. Also with me today are JP and Michaela. Uh, Michaela, can you introduce yourself next and tell us where you are today? Oh, they come here. Oh, hi guys. I'm here at the Long Beach Fair Trade store with Teresa. Hi, Fair Trade Long Beach Retail Collective. Welcome. And I'm just so excited to show you guys the tour of the store. Awesome. And JP, can you introduce yourself and Brooke today? Yeah. Hello, I'm JP. This is Brooke. Hi. We're here at Laguna Hills Mall to show you guys around the global fashion mission store. Excellent. Okay, so today we're going to start off with Ruthie at Share and Do Good. And I'm talking loud because the plane is going over my head. I am right by the John Wayne Airport. So I'm going to try and talk over the planes today. Ruthie, can you start us off at Share and Do Good? Yeah, I can. So again, I'm at Share and Do Good. Hopefully you can hear me through the mask because I'm masked up coming into the store. But this is in downtown Fullerton, and the owner is Lily, and she's going to be sharing with us about the products. So I'm going to flip it around my camera so that I can share with um, what we're doing here and show a little bit more about what's happening here. Actually, maybe I'm not going to flip my camera. I'll try it this way. <laughs> this Hi, is my everyone. friend Lily, second mocha. And um, she is the owner here at Share and Do Good. And what I love about this store is everything here makes a difference. All the products are either made by survivors of trafficking, people who are leaving situations of poverty, and all of the products either give a job, an opportunity, or they're something that gives back to a charity that's making a difference in the world. So Lily, you wanna show us some of your favorite products that are here? Sure, I'd love to. Thanks Ruthie for um, having me as a part of this. It's, uh, <laughs> it's great, we, we love Live to Free and everything that you guys are doing in Orange County and all around the world. Um, one of my favorite products, and it's actually something that we donated for the drawing, is the greeting cards we have. Um, it's from a company called Good Paper, and they work with women who are um, survivors of sex trafficking in the Philippines. So this is one of my favorite cards that they have. Um, one of the most awesome things about Good Paper is that um, these women don't want to be pitied. They have new lives and new opportunities. They make funny cards all day Very long. Funny. And the back is signed by the woman who made it. Um, it's neat, when we first started carrying these cards about nine years ago, um, I think there were about 15 women in their program. And two years ago, they sent an email to all the shops that carried their cards. And they said, on behalf of um, the women, we want to thank you for all um, for carrying our cards in, in your stores. Um, uh, we've never done this before, but we took a picture of all of us together. And here we are. And there were 65 women in that photo. And I just yeah. cried knowing that um, uh, we sell cards all day, every day. And um, 
I, I honestly think that like our customers employ at least half of one of those women because mm. there's so many cards that we, you know, we sell and that people love and they come back for. So it's neat to see how one little product like a greeting card can change the lives of so many women. They love it. it has the fair trade symbol on the card. <laughs> yeah. Fair trade, recycled. <laughs> um, they're amazing. So. And I love what may, people may not understand is with human trafficking, People who've been exploited oftentimes, unfortunately, end up being exploited again because when there's few economic opportunities, when they've been through such traumatic, difficult situations, they need new hope and they need opportunity. So I love that this gives them an opportunity to be employed. It means they're not re-trafficked as well. So Lily, you want to show us something else? You've yeah, got um, this is one of Ruthie's favorite products. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, um, and like Rizzy mentioned, we do have handmade items, um, but we also have manufactured goods. Most of the time, the manufactured products um, we carry because they help children, and we really don't want children to have to work yet. Mm -hmm. So, um, and for example, one of them is uh, this candle by a company called Bridgewater. Um, Bridgewater, for every candle sold, provides three meals for a hungry child, um, which is awesome. So, you know, like if you purchase a candle, to give, um, to give to a friend or to keep for yourself, you're feeding someone for a day. And uh, one thing that I learned when I first started the store, I kind of had an idea of what would happen. Um, you know, hopeful that there's other people that want to change the world, but I didn't realize how a bunch of little things can make an impact on a really big thing, if that makes sense. So um, in the five years we've carried these candles through our customers' purchases, we provided over 10 years worth of meals. And so it's like a 10 year old has been fed his or her life because people love um, Sweet Grace and Afternoon Retreat and the, mm. and the different hol um, holiday candles that we sell too. And it's um, amazing. So just through one candle sale at a time, um, people have made the world a much better place. I love it. And <laughs> she's right. I buy those candles often. <laughs> They're the perfect gift for someone, a birthday, even an anniversary or a homecoming, like a new home, new apartment. They smell amazing and I love, my favorite smell is also called Sweet Grace, which is my baby. My youngest <laughs> daughter's name is Grace. So it is my favorite. It smells amazing. You can't smell it through the, the Zoom, but I'm telling you, come to Sharon, do good and pick one up, Sweet Grace. And they come in different varieties of styles. So you can pick something that really matches your home, your style, what's gonna look good in your home and feed children, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So yeah, and then um, the, one of our newest products we have, and I like it because it's a little different. It's simple, but it shares a really cool story. Um, these are Morse code bracelets. So we have words like strength, dream, love, and these are made in Thailand, um, again, by survivors of trafficking there. But um, what's neat is it doesn't look like something that, um, I don't know, something that you would think was, uh, was, yeah, it just looks different and it's like stylish and it's um, something that you can just wear with anything, but it's cool that someone can ask you about it or mention, mm -hmm. oh, you know, I really like your bracelet. And it gives you, the customer or um, receiver, an opportunity to say, oh my gosh, let me tell you the story behind it. Mm -hmm. And so um, it's cool. It says on the back, every code has a story, what's yours? And you can submit your code and, um, and why you chose it on their website. So it's same things like that. Like I believe, um, like everything we wear is made by somebody, right? Mm -hmm. And so it's really neat when you have something that you wear that can tell a story of hope and then hopefully share it with others mm -hmm. and encourage them to make um, a difference in the world too. Mm -hmm. And I love when people ask you, oh, where'd you get those earrings or that <laughs> cute thing you've got on? It is a chance to spread awareness, create more understanding of how these products make a difference in the world. Okay, Lily, you had one more that I thought was a great gift oh, yeah. for men as we've got Christmas coming up and some, I don't know, my husband, my, my father, sometimes you're like, what am I going to get him? So yeah, these are really this. neat. So this is um, a group called Rethreaded and they make jewelry items, but they also make these cord holders. So it's, um, it's perfect. They're only $10. It can, you can wrap up any of your USB cables with it. Which um, works right now. We're all on <laughs> Zoom all the time, right? <laughs> um, but they're made by survivors here in the U.S. Survivors Florida, of, human uh, of human trafficking mm -hmm. um, in Florida, and mm -hmm. um, and it's really neat because Southwest Airlines actually donated the leather from their seats when they were refurbishing so cool. um, their airplanes. So they donated the leather to Rethreaded so that um, these products can mm -hmm. be made. And it's great. It's a great coworker gift. Mm -hmm. A great. I don't know. Like if you have to go. Stocking I don't know. If you, yeah, stocking stuffer. I don't know if there's going to be. Um, <laughs> um, 
you uh, can get a white elephant one. But maybe there's like virtual white elephant parties this year. <laughs> <laughs> It's a it fits nicely in the mail too. You yeah, gotta send exactly, gifts. exactly. And uh, well, we also have socks for guys. I know it's hard. Um, oftentimes, there's a lot of social good products for women, but not for men. But um, Conscious Step um, is a fair trade company, and they also um, make socks. So every design helps a different purchase or helps a different person. Yeah. So this gives water. This one helps to feed hungry children. This one buys books, and we even have ones that help dogs. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Speaking of dogs, I love, I'm looking at these like cute little uh, spatulas. If you're into Frenchies, they've got adorable ones. <laughs> so yeah, cute. so our shop is just a whole bunch of good all in one place mm. and it gives people opportunity to make a difference and, um, and make the world better. One small purchase at a time. Thank you, Lily. Oh, thank I, you. I love being friends with Lily because she always introduces me to new organizations, new products and if ever I need a gift, this is where I come to first. Cause I know that not only does it do some good in the world, but I can feel good about my purchase. And I know that I'm also passing on that knowledge to someone else. So the gift receiver gets to learn the story behind the gift as well as enjoy the present. That was fantastic. I loved your tour, you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for walking us through. Um, before we go to our next before we go to our next virtual tour, I want to remind anyone who's watching that today we have two giveaways of fair trade in a box prizes that include a whole assortment of different fair trade goods and resources. So if you would like to enter for a chance to win one of those today, put your name in the chat and we'll be choosing two attendees by random at the end. All right. So now that we've gotten that out of the way thank you again ruthie and michaela do you want us do you want to show us around fair trade long beach yes i would so i'm here at fair trade long beach this is the outside of the store you see and when you come in you can see the hours and what times they're open at and here we have Teresa, the owner of fair trade Hotel. So just tell us something about yourself. Hi, hi, hi. Welcome to Fair Trade Long Beach Retail Collective. We love Vanguard University. We love partaking in. Collective of about 20 partners, all from different parts of the world, doing their part in making the world a better place by doing fair trade. So for example, we have the Haitian Pet Metal. This is our partner, Jennings and Allen, that have a store in Seal Beach, but they partner with us here too. River Goddesses, Haitian Cut Metal. I can walk you through to our partners in Ecuador that took part in a fashion show last year. It was so stylish seeing this alpaca product on the runway. Wow. Um, this is Sri Lanka. This is Kenya. Uh, you'll see some of us have our Fair Trade Federation certification. So Baskets and Beads works with these women in Kenya and we market their beautiful handcrafts. Baskets and Beads also brings in other fair trade products. And just like Lily highlighted, I wanna highlight that we also carry the Conscious Step socks here. And I just wanna give it a little whimsy because these socks, they protect sloths. And so we love that you could pair it up with this cute little ornament from Nepal. So um, some of us have mutual causes that we, you know, are liberating people out of poverty or getting them out of human trafficking. One of the products I'd love to highlight right here, um, Malia Designs does uh, anti-trafficking in Cambodia and they're very purpose-driven. So they do, you know, promote different vibes like higher vibes. Our partner, Zara Fairtrade, this is her section here. And she partnered with Malia Designs uh, because in this uncertain times of like civil unrest, we all need a higher message, a more powerful message on how we should live our lives. And so they exclusively worked with Jacita to come up with this Maya Angelou bag that we have in the store. So this is from her book, And Still I Rise. And Jacita in her design also included the cover of the book too, this beautiful red and yellow. Uh, here we have our fair trade Christmas going on. So this is a variety of ornaments from all of our partners. It's a collective Christmas tree. And I also want to highlight that we have our Christmas masks. So we know we're gonna be wearing masks for a while. So let's put a little fun and whimsy. So by purchasing a $10 mask 
as the nose guard, you are helping these women in Nepal. And we just go on through, you know, this is our, our partner from Oaxaca. Beautiful handcrafts, just like fair trade should be. Nothing's mass produced. Everything is made in a safe working environment. There's no exploitation of people. Wonderful brands here at Fair Trade Generation. You'll recognize a lot of them. Sarah, Nita. This is my section. So I like having served products in my section. So a better world in the making. Very, very reputable fair trade line. Um, then we do direct trade also with our partners from Senegal. Then we have uh, a little nook of Peruvian wow. ceramics and Nicaraguan. We also like to support local. Mm -hmm. So this is local and it's natural and it's vegan and uh, gives back to the local community too. Women owned is a big thing for us. This is what I call our little hippie store. <laughs> so we're all kind of like hippies here, but this really has that sole purpose to it. Uh, good fair trade brands. That is the dandy towels from the Maldonado family in Ecuador. We have a uh, woman owned lemonade as a refreshment. And this is one of my favorite stories in the store. So I say we have 20 partners and they each have their own little section. We brought on this business program from Compton. This is Entretopia. These are middle school students that have their after school program at the Rise Academy. They have to have a B average to be in the store. Oh, wow. And this is what they create for us. They do handcraft. They do beard oil, they do soaps. If the soap has lavender in it, they've grown the lavender. So it's just a joy to have them as a partner learning what they call is a, a good business hustle. And, and just a joy to see their marketing and their skills and the future for them by being part of our store. But I'm gonna end with a cause that is near and dear in my heart. And one thing that I advocate against and that's child trafficking and labor trafficking trafficking of children. So I actually get Cal State University students here every semester doing service hours because they are in hospitality and they need to learn the supply chain. So I will speak against chocolate and child labor. I will speak against Hershey's. So everything that we carry in here with our chocolate is fair trade, equal exchange. So just know that purchase fair trade chocolate because if you're purchasing Hershey's, Nestle's, we know that they're using child labor. And if I asked for anything for Christmas, it would be stop eating chocolate that uses <laughs> child labor. Anything else you want to know? I just want you to show everyone like the bracelets from the kids. Oh, yeah. So I'll be right there. I want to yes. show you an example. I want to get a good example. One of the first projects many of our groups learn, and this is an example from our women in Kenya, Fair Trade Federation member baskets and beads. These beads are made by recycling magazines. So you can see they just line the magazines and glue them. So these are magazine beads. So one thing we wanted to do with the Compton students was to teach them how to make magazine beads. And it's just my joy to show that this is what they do as part of their after school crafting. They're doing their interpretation of the magazine beads too. And it's just beautiful. Yeah, I think it's so incredible because you're starting with kids from so young. So like I told you earlier, how I didn't learn about fair trade until um, senior year of high school. So yeah, that's really <laughs> encouraging and like really innovative. So. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just wanting the next generation to learn about fair trade and ethical business pro practices. That's a part of business. I love that they actually, I learned that they have argumentation and debate classes in their class where they debate capitalism versus fair trade. So I think, you know, we've done a good job with the next generation. Yeah. Okay, so to end it off, what would you give a family member for Christmas? <laughs> I have a cute story that I had customers come in here and they were Christmas shopping last year. It was a family and they asked the same question. They said, if you wanted anything for Christmas from here, what would it be? And I thought maybe I resemble an aunt or somebody that they wanted to get a gift for. I'll just be right back here. Okay. So what I told them is I would love to, I myself would love to have um, the Haitian cut metal that's made out of recycled oil drums in Haiti. And they asked me which one. And if you see, it's here on my wall oh, because wow. they bought it for me for Christmas. So my customers bought a gift oh, for me that's incredible. for Christmas. I love it. 
Thank you. Okay, everyone, that was fair trade on beach. Thank you. That was wonderful. I love the Long Beach Collective. I, I've been there before and they have the best selection of things. So before we move on to JP and Brooke at Global Fashion Mission, I want to show off what you might be receiving if you enter in to get one of our giveaways and you get a fair trade in a box prize. So let's let's look at this for a second. We have um, fair trade coffee, equal exchange brand that no, Equal Exchange brand chocolate. I'm sorry, I'm all mixed up. But we have um, Equal Exchange brand chocolate that you'll be receiving in addition to Fair Trade Coffee from Just Coffee Co-op, Long Beach brand. We also have um, Fair Trade bags that are handmade. We have tons of purpose jewelry to stuff in there. And to top it off, the Global Fashion Mission has given us a whole bunch of goodies, including Fair Trade face masks. And since we all know we're going to be wearing face masks for a while, this is a perfect opportunity to get some. So put your name in the chat if you would like to receive one of these fair trade in a box giveaways. I think it, they're going to be tons of fun because in addition to all of those goodies, we're also stuffing them full with resources and information that you'll need to get started in your fair trade journey. So now I'm going to pass it on to JP and Brooke. They are at Laguna Hills Mall. Um, talking to the Global Fashion Mission. JP, take it away. Hi guys. As Ali said, I'm at the Laguna Hills Mall here. And the shop itself is actually tucked away a little bit. So I'm just going to show you how to get there real quick. We, as you can see outside, we have some signs that point towards the open market OT. And then it reaches go inside the entrance real quick here, we'll see a nice little half of footprints that will lead us to the entrance to the open market. There's also a sign up there. I don't know if you can see it very well though. It's a bit of a walk. <laughs> Almost there. There we are. <laughs> the main entrance to the actual market here. We go up the staircase real quick. A lovely environment. And it opens up into this actually rather lovely environment here. As you can see, we go through this little turn thing that I don't know the name for. And it's just a short walk to the actual shop from here. We go past this little checkout area here and the fair trade shop known as Global Fashion Mission is right here. And look, here's Brooke and the top owner over here too. Yeah, no, he's on. How are you doing? <laughs> we have some nice products here as you can see. And let's talk to the owner really quick. So, what's it? I'm full of the question, sorry. What does your business do here? Hi. We do, uh, we are fair trade, we focus more on sustainability, and so our biggest mission is to combat human trafficking and to prevent it, right, all can. And so basically what we do is we provide work and employment for both men and women, um, and they get to have the option to work from home, like uh, that photo up there, they get to work from home. Oh, cool or they get to work at one of the centers that we collaborate with where they can go and uh, make our product. Um, and in addition to that, a lot of our products are repurposed. So like this is a repurposed laptop bag, my personal laptop bag, that's why it's heavy. My laptop's actually in it. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, so this is made from a 
vitamin fish bag. So the mermaid is reminding the fish to take these vitamins. Oh, cool. Yeah. And this is one of our popular pieces that I hardly ever could get. Um, so we were just fortunate to have a few this season. So yeah, this is our laptop bag made from vitamin fish meat bags. And so I'll go ahead and it over here. And uh, on many, a lot of our products are repurposed from like used cement bags, like this particular bag here. Elephant Brand is a cement company from Thailand. And yeah. uh, there's been a lot of construction going on, development in Cambodia. And so we actually purchased the used cement bags from the contractors when we that. That's really neat. Thank and you. what is your favorite part of working here? My favorite part of working here? Oh my gosh, that's a hard question for me because <laughs> There's not anything I don't like about what I do. Um, well, uh, overall, I just like the fact that we're actually making a true impact, not only in uh, Cambodia or Southeast Asia, where a lot of our workers work, uh, but also here locally here um, in regards to bringing awareness to people, letting them know that not only does it happen in third world countries as far as human trafficking goes, but also happens here. You know, I'm able to be an advocate, uh, to a lot of survivors that are locally here that's been, unfortunately, um, been exploited at a very young age. Yeah. And what is your favorite part about shopping, fair trade? My favorite part about shopping, just knowing the people that are making it, knowing the impact of the families that, that yeah. actually make it. You know, it's it's not often where you can just go and walk into a store and actually know and have a face to name to who are making the products for us. Right. So that's like one of the greatest things is to, to know that they're getting uh, a fair wage, you know, so that they're not confined at a sweatshop, you know, across the world and that, you know, they're able to not only sustain themselves, but even with the families that we support, they're also able to have supplemental income to set aside for emergencies. So that's really unheard of in a third world country. So that's something we're really proud of. And in addition to helping them, we actually love the fact that the fact that we divert so much plastic, industrial plastic bags from going to landfills. You know, yeah. at one point, I think we reached over 5,000 pounds of plastic bags mm -hmm. from oh, going wow. to landfills. So that's something we're actually very humbly and uh, proud of. Okay. And you've already shown us some of the products here, but what are some of your favorite products in this store? Oh, it's so tough. <laughs> I can tell you one of our popular products is over here. Um, I haven't been able to restock this recently yet, but this is our sling bag. Oh. So this is made from the used cement bag and this little accent color piece here, that's actually me. This is made from a fish feed bag. Oh. So basically a lot of people purchase it to, I mean, it's an on the go thing. Um, just kind of strap it on in the front or you could just sling it on in the back, you know? Yeah. But um, yeah, this is one of our popular ones, but recently my favorite one is the one I'm wearing, <laughs> this actual silk mask. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, the story behind our silk mask is we have um, collaborated with another fair trade company. They actually help provide employment for disabled men and women. So they actually actually go to the actual center and they hand make all of our product, all of our uh, masks for us. From uh, weaving it to hand dyeing it, we use a plant-based dye. And I can tell you, it's just so much nicer on your skin. Oh yeah. <laughs> Especially when you have to wear it for long hours, mm. you know, like working here and, or just on the run and doing things like that. It's much more uh, breathable. And, um, you know, I also, what they make for us is the, uh, the sarong mask. So this is, just to give you guys an idea, this is what a sarong looks like. Mm -hmm. And so we were able to, it's 100% cotton um, mm. and um, turn them into beautiful masks for everybody. That's cool. Yeah. And how has fair trade changed your perspective on shopping? Oh, it's, uh, how has it changed my perspective on shopping? Well, as I mentioned earlier, I will always choose fair trade knowing that the people that are 
whether it comes to farming or you know, agriculture or anything like that to even tangible products like these where you know you can just know and have a peace of mind that something out there is taken care of yeah and do any of your products have a particular story that you would like to share every single product that i have tells a story uh again so it's so difficult for me to kind of pinpoint <laughs> but as i mentioned earlier i really recently working with uh, in collaboration with uh, women for women and making our masks for us the fact that they're disabled the fact that no one will ever give them a chance uh, we were able to provide them with opportunity especially during this time you know employment so that um, they can still come to work and make beautiful products for us in addition to that you know with our repurpose line with um like anything with the elephants or the mermaid we also have you know we expanded to having men assist us and, and help as well not only women right <laughs> but uh, men as well and they've been making our wallets you can see these are our wallets that they make for us that's cool yeah and what are your favorite fair trade stores oh my favorite fair trade stores uh well i personally every kind of where i go it's always a collaboration as you can see here if you mm -hmm. want to expand uh my friend is uh, katie she's with peace exchange it's a company and then on the far uh left side to me is Jacita's zarek fair trade so kind of everywhere i go where we're kind of pretty much <laughs> uh, a part of it um and everything i pretty much need when i go online uh looking for fair trade products and i'm more of a you know i like to make sure whatever i buy is more sustainable and um you know whether it be like a nice thrift shop or things like that that's more important. yeah and christmas shopping is getting rather close now um do you have some products that you would recommend to shopping for family members? Well, there's so much we can recommend to family members. You know, for everybody who wants little stocking stuffers, we have obviously our masks, right? right. For little kids and for adults. Um, and the fact that a lot of people are actually staying in and they, yeah, you know, it's, you can actually help beautify your holiday experience. Mm -hmm. with uh, something like this a beautiful batik where you can throw it on as a beautiful tablecloth uh to help your celebrate christmas um and other than that like i mentioned earlier our we have a lot of knickknacks here let me just show you over okay so this is a beautiful cute little case where you know students are working i mean they're studying from home it's nice to give them a nice gift to like put their pens or pencils in just something creative where they can put their little belongings just keep safe stuff here and this again repurposed from used cement bags and fishy bags and we have a cute one that's made uh of our mermaid one as well mm -hmm. and also uh the latest one we've actually produced is this one when you're on the go you don't want to wear you don't want to bring anything just throw your you know card information and off you go so That's neat. yeah so a lot of cool things not only for women but for men as well and we have beautiful different colors here and another um, interesting one is our the latest one we have is our lotus pattern yeah yeah this is our lotus pattern for those of you that like this is this is new this is really cool too so lots of easy going like stocking stuffers even you know with helping organize for kids for adults um and then we have a little cute little elephant coin bags as well yeah these are only like less than 10 bucks you know it's like 850 <laughs> and you know our stickers help support our awareness oh yeah only three dollars and um we have like our behind you our yeah. bumper sticker right up here I want to go um i've had uh boys throw this on their skateboards i have people put it on their laptops um women who buy it for their actual car to put it on the back of their bumper 
And I'm actually rocking our one of our t-shirts. I am not for sale. And then the back it says stop human trafficking. So we really love incorporating how fair trade is making sure that people are not um, being exploited, whether it be labor trafficking or being sexually exploited. Okay, cool. Well, thank you very much for your time. I think that's all the questions we have. So handing it off to you now, Ali. Thank you so much, JP and Brooke. Okay, I'm going to give you guys a challenge while I walk the audience through Purpose Jewelry. Um, I want JP and Brooke to look through Global Fashion Mission and find gifts for each other, potential gifts. Um, and Ruthie and Michaela, if you could walk through your stores and Ruthie find a potential gift for Michaela and Michaela find a potential gift for Ruthie. And now I'm going to take a moment to thank our fantastic sponsors for the last two weeks of events that we have had at Live to Free. We have worked with Seroptimus of Newport Harbor area and Seroptimus of Huntington Beach area. And they have been some of the best uh, sponsors and partners that we could ask for. We've also worked with each of the stores that you're seeing here today, Share and Do Good, Fair Trade Long Beach, uh, Global Fashion Mission, in addition to the Hu Orange County Human Trafficking Task Force and a bunch of others that aren't even coming to mind at the moment, such as the Tote Project and um, Equal Exchange and lots of others, lots of other partners. So I just want to thank the community for really coming together in this. And now I'm going to walk you around and show you Purpose Jewelry and International Sanctuary. <clears throat> So I am here in Irvine. We are just across the freeway from the John Wayne Airport. This is just off of MacArthur Boulevard. As you can see, this is kind of an industrial business sector. Um, we walk along here. It's pretty easy to find. All the signs are really clearly labeled above the buildings, as you can see. And I'm going to turn the camera around so you can watch his, and follow me as I walk over to our store today. So, International Sanctuary is a project that has uh, their own business, which is Purpose Jewelry. So, you're kind of getting a two-for-one by working with them and talking with them. So, that's what I'm doing today <clears throat> once I put my mask on, of course. As you can see through the window, there are tons of gorgeous things to buy, and it's just a really lovely environment. Right here in the front shop, they have lots of their jewelry on display and you can tell that this is a really comfy environment. And here, this is um, Sarah, was it? Yeah. This is Sarah. She's going to be our Purpose Jewelry International Sanctuary representative today. Um, I met you before, but I'm Allie. Yeah. Hello, Sarah. <laughs> so I wanna ask you a little bit about what you do here. So um, what is International Sanctuary and Purpose Jewelry? Yeah, so International Sanctuary um, is um, our um, part of it that is we um, have um, our sanctuaries overseas. So we have them in Uganda, in India, and in Mexico, um, and also right here in Orange County. Um, and so we work with women who have um, recently escaped um, human trafficking um, of many different backgrounds um, and types. And so we give them um, jobs, we give them education, community, a loving space for them to really be themselves and know their true purpose and their worth. Um, and so a lot of these women um, just from all over the place end up coming through. Um, we teach them how to make our jewelry. Um, and then once they've learned how to make our jewelry and they're able to sustain themselves, they can choose to stay or go. Um, and so it is just an amazing way to um, both help them out and um, obviously we sell that jewelry here. So the purpose jewelry part is um, once we get that jewelry from them, then we're able to um, sell it and then 100% goes back into our programming for them. That is so. fantastic. Yeah. So purpose jewelry is considered fair trade. Um, what is your favorite part about shopping fair trade? Um, fair trade shopping, I think, is just the most important thing that you can do in shopping. <laughs> Um, because there's just so much um, hurt and there's so much pain, especially in trafficking and especially with um, like job trafficking, um, knowing that fair trade um, is safe, sustainable, and everybody is paid fair wages throughout it 
um, knowing that there's good coming from my purchase and from um, what we sell here. So. That's wonderful. Yeah. Um, what are your favorite fair trade stores to shop at besides Purpose Jewelry? <laughs> right. Um, actually, um, one of them is um, one that I think you guys highlighted as well, Fair Trade in Long Beach. Yes, we yeah. were just there on this webinar. <laughs> yeah, I live in Long Beach, and so um, I drive past Fair Trade almost every day, um, and so That's I awesome. hang out there. Um, and then actually another one um, that actually uh, used to be in Fair Trade spot um, now goes to Los Alamitos. Um, and um, they are a very similar company, um, but definitely um, some of those. Um, and yeah, basically local. If you see anything mm -hmm. that's like fair trade, that's the place to be. And that's of course, wonderful. Us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so can you show us around your products for a second and yeah. tell us what kind of things there are to buy here? Yeah, absolutely. So um, obviously for story. <laughs> um, so um, basically we have everything here um, pretty much most of um, where we're at is going to be online um, but we do have this little space in here for those who live in Southern California um, they can come by and shop as well um, and so um, probably the best place to start would actually be here these are all of our new um, earrings in our new collection our fall line um, and so um they're all super fun so we have a lot of really modern stuff and a real a lot of just classic stuff as well um and so um some of these are really special like these are our subi hoops um so these earrings are made by artisans in kampala uganda um and these are made from um actually uh cow horns and so these specifically, these earrings, as well as our Audrey earrings that are also um, made from Ancole is what it's called. Um, they specifically go back into um, community development in those in Uganda. Um, and so that those are a really special piece. Um, so these are also super fun because they're all 100% unique. Um, each piece is gonna be completely different. Um, and you never really know exactly what you're going to get when you order those, so I love them. Um, on the other side of things, these are our loony hoops. These are also new. Um, these ones are made in Mexico, um, in um, our sanctuary there. Um, so these ones are um, one that we've been told the women really have fun making because um, they get to wrap all the little beads and all these little wires. All of this is completely hand done. Wow. Um, and so they're just absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, and so those are really um, popular right now. Um, and so um, that's kind of our earrings. We have a lot in all around here. Um, mm -hmm. Something fun since I talked about the loonies um, is, where are they at? Our um, Olivia hoops. Oh, right there. Um, these ones are one of the first earrings that um, our women learn how to make. Um, because they're really simple. Um, and so if you can see up here, this wire wrap, um, that's what they learn to do first. And then once they've mastered something as simple as this, then they can move on to something like the Looney that also has the wire wrap, but is a little bit more complicated. Um, and so we kind of are able to ease them in. And once they feel comfortable, they can do more, um, uh, what's the word? Complicated, <laughs> complicated things. Um, and so they really have fun with that. Um, and then over here on both this ladder rack and on this table, this is our premier line. Um, and so all of our premier line is plated in 14 karat gold, as well as rhodium, um, which is another precious metal, so not just sterling silver. Um, and so these ones are all very special. Um, and each piece, again, is handcrafted and then is just that beautiful, beautiful 14 karat finish. Um, and then each piece um, comes in this beautiful gift box and has our handcrafted with love. Um, <laughs> and so all of these pieces um, are favorites of mine. They are um, really, really special, especially um, like things like this. This is our Baroque necklace and our Baroque bracelet. Um, these ones are super popular. Um, these are real freshwater pearls. Wow. Um, and so they just, are absolutely gorgeous. Um, and then those are sustainably sourced as well. Um, and so pretty much everything here is, um, well, 
everything is of course <laughs> ethically made um and then everything is absolutely gorgeous um and then some of my favorites are actually in my right now um these are part person. of our prima collection so our prima necklace these are our prima threaders um and so they're super fun and then we also have um matching prima studs Ooh. and prima um a prima cuff bracelet and another um, earring that's similar to this necklace that has more pieces. And so I think it's super fun. We do have many um, collections of things. So like we have like the Unity collection where we have a bracelet and a ring and a necklace that all match and an Infinity collection with the necklace and the bracelet. And so no matter what you're looking for, we have it for you. <laughs> um, and then we also have Christmas ornaments. Um, they're not out right now, but they are all online. They've been selling like hotcakes. Um, <laughs> I love our ornaments. We do have an ornament in on full leg, um, which is that um, one that I was talking about earlier. <laughs> um, each piece is completely unique, so it's absolutely gorgeous. But yeah, so um, if you wanted to look around a little bit, we have all of our rings, of course, all of our earrings here, um, necklaces, and our these are our cuff bracelets, and then we have other stretchy bits and things over here. That's so lovely. Yeah. You have a gorgeous shop. Thank I you. absolutely adore it. So we've been playing a game of trying to find Christmas present presents for family members. Oh, so okay. what would you recommend to someone who came in and asked what kind of a Christmas gift to give, say, their grandmother? Their grandmother. All right. Well, <laughs> I'm actually going to bring you back over to the Baroque um, section here. I think um with our um older ladies like I know that my future mother-in-law is in love with these yeah um for your grandma I definitely would suggest probably the baroque necklace um Absolutely. or I would also say these um the serenity earrings um mm -hmm. they are absolutely beautiful and have that um little gem drop um those are generally pretty popular um with our older ladies those are gorgeous Thank you so much for your time today. We love your store. So guys, for you, for everyone listening, this is in Irvine. This is just off of MacArthur across the freeway from the airport. So it's very easy to find for our Vanguard students. It's very close to Vanguard. Yeah. So we love this place. We highly recommend it. Thank you so much, Sarah. Of Have course. a nice day. You too. If I can get the, there we go. So now that you've seen Purpose Jewelry, you know just why we love it so much. And now I'm going to call the rest of our panelists back, JP and Michaela and Ruthie. And I gave you guys kind of a challenge to see what you would be able to find. So let's start with Ruthie. Were you able to find a gift you would recommend for Michaela? Oh, that's gorgeous. Just so you know, if you're talking, you're muted. Sorry about that. That's okay. I should know better by now. But <laughs> I was saying, Michaela is one of my favorite students. And so I was thinking this little tie that holds all your cords together would be useful for her doing school from home. And all we're all online all the time. So I thought that would be a useful gift. But then I love this necklace. It is um, by 31 Bits. I know Michaela wears a lot of black, so I think it shows off the bright colors. And this yellow green color kind of reminds me of the Live to Free color, which she's a member of the Live to Free Club. So I thought this would be maybe a little out there for you, Michaela, but a fun addition to, I know you're kind of a simple black style and maybe this is a little bit fun, fun addition to that. And 31 Bits is a great organization that actually was started by former Vanguard alum. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. I love that. Um, I, I would love all of those gifts. So I can see why you chose them for Michaela. <laughs> Michaela, what were you able to pick out for Ruthie? So for Ruthie, I um, chose these earrings right here. I think they're really cute. And then like every time I see Ruthie, she's always wearing these pretty <laughs> earrings. So I thought- Do you like the earrings? <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I thought that would be a nice touch for a wardrobe. Oh, so. fun. <laughs> Those look gorgeous. I know Ruthie loves jewelry. She's always wearing really gorgeous necklaces and earrings and bracelets. So any jewelry, I think, would be a good gift for Ruthie. 
Um, JP and Brooke, are you able to come back and show us what you pick, picked out for each other for potential gifts? Yeah, actually, we've got, I found this nice little mermaid organizer for Brooke here. Oh, yay. Okay, I'm putting this down. Okay. JP said that he would like this. I think it's really cool. It's an eagle backpack. Yeah, that is really neat. Here we go. And then we also have a nice little mask. beautiful mask for Allie as a bonus. There we go. I love that. I get a gift too. <laughs> All right, guys, this has been so much fun. I am going to close it here and thank all of our panelists for coming and visiting the stores. Uh, and I'm going to call out the random names that have been selected to receive our fair trade in a box prizes. So let me look at the names that were drawn out. And let you know that the winners are Karen Johnson from Minneapolis and Janet Ross. So in order to get your fair trade in a box prize, go ahead and email us at l2f at vanguard.edu. That is l2f at vanguard.edu. And just send us an email, tell us you were one of the winners and we'll organize how to get your giveaway to you. We'll ship it to an address or arrange a pickup. So let us know, Karen and Janet, we're really excited that you got, that you got some of our giveaways because the prizes and the resources in there are really cool and I think you're gonna really like them. Thank you again to all of our panelists, all of the people, all of the stores who host. Thank you for coming. Thank you for um sorry my microphone. We got you that way. Um thank you for coming. Thank you for walking through the stores. Thank you to the stores for letting us walk through them. We have had such a fun time and we hope that this has encouraged you to go out and find fair trade stores yourself because it is so easy and it does so much good. And it honestly, it's so much fun. They have such beautiful things. So thank you again. I hope that everyone has a great rest of their day. And uh, Janet and Karen, don't forget to email us so that you get your giveaways and we will see you next time, everybody. Have a great rest of your day.